Hey everyone and welcome to Bridge Youth Essentials. This is a condensed version of what we would do on a Friday night. And the reason for that is that we want to encourage you to come through on a Friday. As much as we're able to meet on a Friday, we will continue to do that. Can I encourage you to book your butt? 82 736 Send us a WhatsApp, say, hey, I want to bring a few of my friends. I want to come through to youth. We are social distancing. We are sanitizing. We are wearing masks. It is a safe place. So as, as long as we are able to, to meet physically, make sure that you keep doing that. But this is Bridge Youth Essentials, and we're excited that you're here. If you're joining us for the first time and you want to get connected, once again, send us a WhatsApp and we'd love to connect with you. But today I've got Julian and Brogan here with me and we're going to have a discussion. We're actually starting a new series today which is pretty cool and we're going to bust some exam myths. Exams are coming up, it's around the corner now, so we want to bust some of those myths as well. What, what, what grade are you now, Brogan? Uh, I'm age-wise grade 9. Grade 9, yeah. grade 9 and you, how old? Uh, 14. 14. Yeah. Grade 10. Grade 10. 15. Nice. Okay, cool. So, so you guys are going to get some wives today? <laughs> Julian, you took that, you, you thought just for a second. But we can have some time. So when it comes to exams, does that stress you out? Yeah. Is that like a stressful time in your life? A little bit, I a guess. A little bit. You don't stress too much. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think sometimes your parents stress more than you in exams? Yo, 100%. And definitely. teachers even get yes, more yes, stressed yeah. than you. <laughs> so some examiners. So here's myth number one. If I spend more time studying, I will get better grades. Do you think that's true? The more time you mm. study, the better your marks are. Generally, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so. Okay, and you? Sometimes, depends on the subject, I guess. Yes, the subject. Yeah. Do you find that if you be, if you enjoy a subject more, you do better at it? Mm. Yes. That's one as well. Yeah, definitely. And then the other question would be is, okay, do you stay up like late in the night and study or do you wake up early in the morning and study? I, I value my sleep, so I'm <laughs> going to say wake up early in the morning. Ooh, I don't know. I say I go as Rogan so I can sleep early that Ooh. night and wake up early. But yeah. if you put your alarm on, let's be honest, <laughs> that snooze button is too I have my mom, she wakes up at that time anyways. <laughs> but I think sometimes we try and like cram the work in and then if you don't get it, you don't get it. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's more, I think it's better to understand the work than just mm -hmm. to learn it. Okay, so myth number two. I, I don't want to be an A-grade student because they don't ever have any fun or free time. So, Brogs, I would say that you're a, he's an A-grade student, right? You're a smart guy. So, do, do you think that's true? I don't think it's true at all. Um, I, I have lots of fun. Um, maybe I don't go to, out to like me, as many parties or like do as many things. But yeah, I, I think uh, A-grade students definitely have fun. I think it's more like priorities. So yeah, whatever yeah, you enjoy doing, you'll prioritize. But what's important to you, you prioritize as well. Yeah. So I think I think that's true. But there are certain people that need to hear that. Yeah, maybe you do need to put in more work studying, <laughs> because and it's not be, like becoming an A grade student. It's just doing your best. Yeah. So like your yeah. best and Julian's best won't look the same. Mm -hmm. But it definitely won't look the same as my best. But at the end of the day, as long as you do your best, that's what mm -hmm. counts. Cool. Yeah. Next one. Are you ready? Number three, I study better under pressure and at the last minute. Jules? Yeah, I think I do. Do you like like that adrenaline rush? Yeah, that, yeah, because the then I'm before? like, because if I'm under pressure, then I'm like knowing that I must study now to, or yeah. else it's, yes. it's sure. Yeah, I think just like that, that short amount of time I have to cram into, yeah. I think I produce something of better value. Mm. Yes, definitely. Yeah. It's almost like because you hype yourself up as well. Also, I remember I used to get like Jungle Bar and I used to get like a monster <laughs> and just, like get in the night and I'm like, yo, this is so exciting. <laughs> no, but it depends because if you have like four weeks, then you're going to be like, oh, I can slack off during study. I've got four weeks, I've got so much time. And then come to the last minute, then you're like studying everything over again. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I guess it depends what works for you. So mm. for some people, they'd be like, no way, I want to I want to start way earlier. Those people have but good Yeah, for, I think mm. for me, I'm, I, I like that pressure. I actually yeah. enjoy it. Okay, next one. I don't have to make any notes. All the work is already summed up in my textbook. Do you agree with that? I, d I completely disagree with that. Because uh, textbooks actually like give you so much unnecessary information. Um, there is like, they, sometimes they'll like sneak in a little line of information that you wouldn't have expected to study. But I think summarizing all of that into a shorter version just makes your studying life a whole lot easier. Yeah. And yeah. you, are you a note taker? 
I'll say from the textbook. Okay. But would you, 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 I remember you said you would take like just one sentence from the Yeah, textbook. like the most important sentence because yes. then you would like kind of grasp what the rest of the, that point is going to yeah. be based on. I always remember like uh, like rewriting my textbook basically. I had like hardcover book for every subject and I would take the textbook and literally rewrite everything over. Highlight. It, was, it, it didn't make sense, but for me, the way I learned was by me rewriting it, I was learning it at the same time. Yeah. So it wasn't just writing, it was like, because I could see it, I, I was writing it. It was, yeah, it just worked for me. I guess you, again, you have to find what works for you. Okay, last one. I take better notes on a computer than I do by writing them down physically. Mm. Computer or physically? Uh, physically, definitely. Yeah, so you like you, the feel? You physically like writing out the mm. information and when it comes to the test, you're physically writing out that information again. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I agree with Brendan. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. Like on a computer, it just it's not the same. It just doesn't yeah. feel the same. Even typing it, writing it, it just makes it more physical, like tangible. Yeah. So I guess that makes sense. So those are some of the myths. There's loads more, but let us let us know as well if that makes sense to you or how that applies to your life. But I know exam stress is a real thing. Actually, stress in general. Mm -hmm. You know, you have stress at home. We have stress at school. We have we have stress with friends. Mm -hmm. We have stress with girls. <laughs> You have stress every, everywhere you go. It's just part of life. So that's why we're actually starting this new series and it's called The Stress Test. And the reason why is because we want to do the stress test and ask this question, which is the tagline, is stress good or bad? That's the real question. We live with stress every day. It's part of our lives. It, we can't get rid of stress. There's no way to get rid of stress. We have to learn how to deal with it, how to cope with it, how to live with it, how to handle it, how to manage stress. It's part of our lives and I think that's why we're doing the stress test is because we need to answer that question. Is stress good or bad? Think about that for a second. You get good stress, you get bad stress. Or is it all bad stress? Or maybe you think it's all good stress. Think about one of the things we just mentioned now that we like to cram in the work the night before. That's stress, that's pressure. But for some reason, we thrive under that for some of us. Where other people, we can have nervous breakdowns if that's us. So is stress good or bad? That's a question. You know, you can't get rid of stress. You just get better at handling it. Some people are really good at handling stress. Some people aren't. But every one of us have to cope with it, have to handle it. And you know, for some people, you can get more stressed if you stress about the stress that you already have. Then it's just stress on stress on stress. And that's a lot of stress that doesn't help anything. So I know some people get really worried and then you worry because you're worrying or you worry because you're not worrying. It's like, it just makes it worse. But you know what I love is that, is that Paul who wrote this letter to the Corinthian church, he gives us this clue about how we should handle stress, how we should handle troubles and, and struggles that we have in our lives. So think about the question for a second, is stress good or bad? But look at what Paul says here, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 to 10. But he answered me, this is Jesus saying, my grace is always more than enough for you and my power finds full expression through your weakness. So I will celebrate my weakness for when I'm weak, I sense more deeply the mighty power of Christ living in me. Isn't it so incredible in that verse 9 that he actually said he, he, he loves his weakness because that's when he relies on Jesus. Verse 10, so I'm not defeated by my weakness, but delighted. For when I feel my weakness and endure mistreatment, when I'm surrounded with troubles on every side and face persecution because of my love for Christ, I am made yet stronger for my weakness becomes a portal to God's power. I'm going to read that again because that's really powerful, that last bit. For my weakness becomes a portal to God's power. It's when we weak, when we stress, when we worry, when we have all of the anxieties of life, that's when we have a portal to God's power. Because if we had everything waxed, if we were sorted, if we were clever like Brogan, I'm playing, but if, if, we, if we had an easy life, we wouldn't need God. If we didn't stress, if we didn't have worries or concerns, what, what need would we have for God? But it's in our weakness where we learn to rely on God. So here's the main point for today. It's that you need to do your best and trust God with the rest. Simple as that. Do your best, trust God with the rest. Make a note of that. Do your best, trust God with the rest. Put it on your mirror. What can I do today? Do my best, trust God with the rest. I've, I've got these exams coming up. Do my best, trust God with the rest. Uh, I've got this girl that I want to ask her, but I don't know what she's going to say. Do my best, trust God with the rest. It's everything in our lives that that, that can be a main point.
So for you guys as well, I, I, would, I would definitely say that that should be the motto of our lives. All we can do is our best. I can't do Julian's best. I can do my best. I can't do Brogan's best. I can do my best. And the same for you. We all have different strengths, different gifts, different weaknesses. So all we can do is do our best and trust God with the rest. That's really important. So I want to ask that question, the stress test, right? Is stress good or bad? Brogan, what would you say? Sure, I think it's, it's, it's a difficult thing after how you just explained what stress is and how it could like affect us. Uh, but I think uh, stress can be a good thing um, if it's not taken too far, obviously. Like the, I, I, when you're under stress, you can obviously produce uh, things of higher value or of higher quality. Um, but there's obviously the negative um, side of stress, which is um, basically you're not able to control your emotions mm. towards your certain responsibilities. Yeah, so I think it, you, it almost has those extremes as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So for you, exam stress, do you think that's good or bad stress? Um, I, think it's, I think it's a healthy stress in a way. But I think if you stress too much about it, it can be bad. It can be bad, right? Yeah. I agree with that. And for you, Jules, stress when it comes to your, your life? I think it can be good or bad, but I think it's more bad because it puts a negative thing on your body, your physical health, your mental health. Yeah, because if, like Reagan said, if it's taken too far, it can lead to mm -hmm. like sicknesses in your mind and like mm -hmm. you, the way you think and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very true. I, I agree with both of you. I think it's not just a black and white rule. It's not just g good or bad, but it could be both. It depends on you. So you said something interesting. You mentioned something that effect it can have on your on your mental life or on your physical life. And I think w when you think of gym, for example, I mean, you go to gym, you can see those arms, eh, Brady? And uh, I think when you go to gym, when you gym, there's stress. You're putting your body under stress if you think about it. So every time you do a curl or you lift or you, you do anything like that, you're putting your body under immense stress. But, and, and that can be bad if you do that too much or too early after an injury, but it can be good. That's why you look good because you, you've put your body under stress. So they, you have good stress, but taken to an extreme, it becomes bad stress. I think that's very good. You guys are so clever. You know that. Okay, so the, the second one I, I would ask is, you personally, with you guys, where you're at in your moments, how do you handle stress? Maybe, Julian, you can start. How do you cope with stress physically? I think like getting your mind off of everything. Personally, I like to gym. Just go to gym, just focus on like reaching a goal because then I'm ta I've taken my mind off life and all those type of things and I'm, and I'm only working towards a certain goal that I have for myself. Yeah. Also goals because then you can sit down and work towards a goal where you're not thinking of what's happening with all the things you're stressing about, but you also shouldn't stress about your goal. You should just do your best to reach this goal and you'll get there. Yeah, and that's also like a release for you. So mm. whatever anger or frustration you have, you can release that at gym. I know you enjoy music as well. Do you find that that helps you handle stress? Mm, depends on, especially, I like listening to music at the gym, that helps. But okay. if I'm just listening at home, that's just because I'm in the mood to listen to music. Okay. <laughs> and you brogues, like, how do you handle stress? Um, I really like the um, statement that you brought up, uh, do your best, but uh, let God do the rest. Yeah. Um, and I think that's very, uh, like, true in my life, is that I try and do my best. And when I realized I can't go any further, I, I just let God take over the uh, situation. Um, yeah, I, I don't try and uh, push past my boundaries uh, because then I know that uh, other things will start to happen and it will have a negative effect on me. So I, I try and do my absolute best. And if I know that I can't handle the situation or um, it's just, it's not enough time, I'll just, I'm uh, completely fine with it and I'm understanding of what yes. uh, what has happened Very yeah good. and what do you do in your free time what do you do to relax to just release um i think sleep <laughs> <laughs> um because what's the latest that you've slept into gosh i don't sleep for long okay uh, so do I you do naps do you like yeah. could you sleep anywhere like could you fall asleep in that chair right now no not really <laughs> I, well, I could, but like I wouldn't have a, a great sleep. Um, yeah, I think uh, rest, like when my when my body is just like fully out of it, um, and just I'm able to rejuvenate my energy. 
Um, but otherwise, I think maybe like relaxing, getting into a little bit of like entertainment, like Netflix or YouTube. Um, yeah. That's cool. Like a release. I like yeah. that. I think that's yeah. important for everyone. You need to find how you can release your frustrations of life. So then the last thing would be is how can we help other people? I think it's good that we can relieve stress with ourselves. Mm -hmm. But if you, you have friends that stress, you know, we know that. We have, we have parents that stress, even teachers that stress. Mm. So how can we help other people handle their stress or how can we help them take that off of them? For yeah. you, Brogues, what would you say? Sure, I think um, there's a lot of things that go behind, uh, go on behind like closed doors or like um, we don't really know what's happening in most of our friends' lives. Mm. Uh, so I think just reaching out and finding out like if there is anything wrong or if there's anything we can help with is the first step we can take. Um, and then if there is anything wrong, we can maybe like try and comfort them. If there's anything we can help with, uh, help them out with that. Um, uh, Cause I think if, if we're doing fine in our lives, but we're not helping other people mm -hmm. get along with life, I think we're doing something wrong. Yeah, very yeah. good. Jules? I think just be there for your friends, find out how they're doing. Just, ask, just, be there so that when they have someone to talk to so when they're talking to you even if you're just talking to them having a simple conversation they, their mind is on the conversation and they're not thinking about what they're stressing yeah. about yeah i think conversation definitely helps but checking in from time to time you know your friends and if you see they they're down or you see oh they're not acting like themselves just check in hey you didn't see yourself is everything okay something simple as that but i would also i would go one further more than just checking in is doing life together telling them hey we're gonna go for a milkshake or whatever or hey let's go to youth together or let's go to let's go to let's um after school let's go this do this together something like that you know it's like doing life together on a saturday get together randomly with them or i think that that changes things because it's not just a conversation now we're actually doing more than that so i would definitely say that all of those things help but Stress exists and we need to learn to handle it. We need to learn to cope with that. So maybe you're watching this and you're wondering like, oh my word, I have so much stress. I don't know how to handle it. Well, remember that you can only do your best and then we need to trust God with the rest. That's the most important thing. So I'll, I'll, we, we're going we're gonna to pray together in a second, but I want to encourage you. Maybe you, you, this is the first time you're watching anything youth related or even Jesus related and you're unsure how, what res, your response should be. Well, I would encourage you to make that decision to follow Jesus. Maybe you've never made that decision before or you have made it before, but you kind of let the stresses of life get to you and you've drifted away from God. Maybe you feel like you don't have that relationship anymore. Can I encourage you that God forgives anyway, that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life and no one gets the Father except through Him. That means that if we want to spend eternity in heaven celebrating with God and the angels, that we can make a decision to follow Jesus even right now, wherever you're watching this. Maybe you're in Port Alfred or maybe you're at home or wherever you may be, that you can make the decision right now. It's this, it's this cognitive approach of saying, Lord, I accept you into my life. Simple as that. We, we, we call it prayer. It's a conversation with Jesus. And what I love, what it says in Matthew 7, 7, that we can ask, seek and knock. We can do those three things. Ask God, ask Him, invite Him into your life. Seek Him, that you're looking for Him. And of course, that we can knock on that door, that He'll open that door for us. Ask, seek and knock, and you'll see that your life will start to change. Can I encourage you to make that decision right now? Come, let's pray in this moment. Father, we pray for every single person online, everyone watching this, wherever they may be. Pray that you'll strengthen us, help us handle stress. Lord, we're going to try our best, but we trust you with the rest. I pray for everyone watching this that may be going through stress and unsure how to handle that, that you can give them the wisdom to do that. Pray for those that are making a decision to follow you for the first time or coming back to you, that you would go into their lives, that Holy Spirit, your presence would be felt within them, that their lives will be changed and altered for the rest of their lives, that this will be the beginning of an incredible journey. We pray that you'll walk with us, encourage us, help us study, help us focus, help us not get distracted. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, congratulations if you made the decision to follow Jesus. 
We'd love to help you on that journey. Send us a WhatsApp, 0827369668. We'll get you connected to youth, get you connected into a fam group close to you. And uh, just, just be there to support you. It's an incredible journey. For everyone who's, who's stressed or worried about exams, we're praying for you. We're here to support you every, every step of the way. Brogan's really smart. He's offered to tutor everyone, so that's possible. If you need to release some frustration, Julian's going to take you to the gym. He's going to play you some music, and he's going to get you big muscles and maybe a girlfriend as well. <laughs> I'm playing but we hope that you enjoyed this Bridge Youth Essentials for today stay tuned with us keep connected with us keep booking your butts remember each week each one reach one keep inviting people keep sending the link out keep inviting people to youth but also Fam 1000 we, we, we want to reach 1,000 teenagers in fam groups this year so help us reach that goal help us change your community change the nation but we will see you next time